Welcome in, then, ladies and gentlemen. We're back. We're live at the Warfield Theater in San Francisco. It is a one shaping up. Faith is into the front lines. They get a Nick stun. Only a one hero. Kuro thinking about a jump on him. Do they want to focus the Odyne here, though? He's a fairly durable hero in general. He has skill up to K, but it, Faith, no, he gets it off. He's surrounded for now. So everybody dropping low in secret. Kuro as well as Puppy, but both alive. They live life on the edge here. However, they might lose Artezi on the way out. Slowed and brought down, and he skilled the raises. Is, well, should be okay here as he's going mid, but a nice, nice turnaround on Secrets Mine, and that's where if they want to contest it, they're wasting more time around the pit, they're not farming as efficiently, so at some point if you're a Secret, you just have to kind of give up oh, that you may lose. Surge into a lift top lane, they're going to go on Chuan quickly, the familiars follow this up, so all assumption turns and he gets oh. Kuro first anyway! Oh, you poke oh. The, the lion in the eye, and let's see what happens. Tornado EMP comes back the other way, though, S4 gets stunned, he runs out of mana, and he's dealt with mid! Chain of kills, and meanwhile, there was a Nyx yep. kill, it looks At like, bottom. in the bottom lane. They move up towards the dire jungle. They're just getting more confident, Secret, in terms of where their heroes are rotating, and they're going to try to make their way top. They do have the lift to somewhat set up the EMP, and they're going for 430. Surge in, but he dropped the tornado. EMP as well got off. It's going to hit Kuro. The stun's there. It's only a one. Back comes through. Counter EMP hits two, but not enough. They need a little more from Arteezy, who's channeling the Requiem around the side. They quapple and follows it up there, looking for a blink scream, but they need to be sure they'll get kills off of this, and oh, S4 gets cold snap, he loses all his mana to a mana burn, but nice grave by Puppy, keeps him in fighting shape for now, he screams desperately, familiars laid in him, they can't kill him off, he blinks out, but they still lost the Dark Sierra, two for two, very even fight, but that was with a mouth looking to go, 430 they gets lifted, sentries. they had a sentry waiting, they're gonna toss him back, the stolen tornado, clips two, Kuro has been slowed down a little bit, but he four steps away, actually that was a buddy that bailed him out, as he continues to retreat and may end up going down here anyway to familiars. Where's that grave? He does get oh, grave by Puppy. Side blinks it, but he got silenced. He doesn't give anything. Arteezy's ready though. Unwinds the Requiem and starts pounding into faith. Almost dead. Raze gets it done. It's a triple. But then he's dealt with. Burning also dropping low. Doesn't seem to have the BKB. Puppy in danger to familiars. Another grave. S4 leaps forward, finishes off burning. Now three on two. And they forced IG back in the tree light. If they whiff a stun, Secret are going in hard. They'll do it anyway. The stolen gust. The follow-up stun. Two dropping very low. Not dead yet. Chuan gets all familiar stuns. It's four. And IG. It might be a team wipe. Luo. Blake's even follow down a couple of here's the quapple. Oh, also an air ball. Doesn't get Luo. And now the BKB is going to wear off for a TZ. This has to be the window. If IG are to take a fight. Well, that BKB is down. The quapple has been wasted. But even now, can they go? Lua's a bit low in HP to engage. The zoning right? wall gets dropped. They do manage to find 430. He got baited into the trees, and down he goes. Remember, he bought back last fight. I don't think he can rejoin this one. Actually, has the buyback ready, it looks like. Maybe can get back. Secret on the run now. They lost their Rubik. Rubik for Invoker. They're happy with that, but the zombies might make it a little more. Luo finds S4. That's the bigger kill. Therein lies the gateway to Roche, perhaps. S4 blinked into the tombstone and then took a mana. Artezi's back! And Rubik respawned, they're gonna 20, contest it! 25 seconds on the Queen of Pain though, out of the fight. No Still Requiem on Shadow Fiend. And they're gonna go for it, they get the stun on Puppy off the bat. Has Zai's work been for naught? It seems they lose another. Down goes the Shadow Priest and in goes IG. The Roche will fall. I mean, just a I mean Zai, Zai is doing some heavy lifting this game, but Secret unable to rise to the challenge to join him, at least right away following it, but they don't want to go into the oh, pit. Oh, the wraparound. Why is it always this bottom lane? It always seems to be the place Maybe where stuff happens, and Arteezy smoke gets revealed. Oh, Secret moving in. Each other. Blinks forward onto Chuan. BKB pops. They need the big back. They only get Chuan with the wall. That's not the best initiation, but it is the first kill to fight. Tombstone deployed in the middle of everyone. Could be focused quickly. They're going to kill off Faith as well. Two supports down. 430 running in. Drops the meteor. Doesn't really do a whole lot with this. They need burning to be the heavy damage dealer. Finds Kuroki. There's Three. Auto attacks will kill him off. Oh, that one to S4. He's low to though. He falls to the end. Great grave for Puppy. Turns the fight. 430 trapped in the trees. The last man alive and the last man down. It's a team wipe. Secret smash IG against the rocks. And they want to make sure they get Shen off of this. They don't know the buyback status for IG, so it's like, okay, there's top lane to push out, but let's get Roshan while there's five dead. This could be the only opportunity to do this.
and the wall was not perfect, but it was good enough from the secret side, and it just created this location where IG had to really kind of spread out and fight around it. IG could just not be as grouped up and as protective as, as they wanted of their kind of squishy supports. Tron goes down, you lose a lot of damage output. Then they lost their support on dying, and from there, just went from bad to worse. Whoa! Curry unfortunately gets sniped. Not sure. Oh, up the tombstone, a secret are forced back up in. The grave comes on the curl. Man, they're also tanky. Out comes the Crimson Guards. They're still kept alive through all this as both teams kind of backing off. They'll wait the Rubik respawn. They'll wait out for another Hex BKB on the darks here and wait for another good initiation. Then they'll go in again. Well, Unfortunately, they won't have Aegis. IG won't wait for anything. It looks like 430 is looking to move in. They, I believe, I thought they smoked for this. Maybe not. And they're swinging around, but while they're doing that, Burning's getting caught in the mid lane. Quickly dealt with, finished off by a nice NKB crap there as Arteezy will close him out. Now the back connects on several. Arteezy does get stunned. Burning bump back and re-engages 430, trying to finish him off. He's Arteezy got no armor. not tanky enough. No, he is. He gets off the Satanic and they can't finish him. Triple, make it an ultra. Artor unstoppable. That invoker dead for 100. And Burning left to do it alone. Hunts on the puppy. A couple more hours. Can he finish off? Arteezy, BKB activated, but he's chunking him down, and he'll win the fight, it's a rampage! No buyback on Burning, that is two deaths on him, Artur buys back, Boots are travel in, they're going for the win, they're going for the GG, no Invoker, no Dro Ranger, no answer to Team Secret. You can just throw it at this point. If they saw the buybacks, they go for the mega creeps here. It looks like maybe now, now they've changed their mind. It's time to go to a game five, says Secret. This one's going the distance, and it's official now. Secret strike back in a huge way. Oh boy. We get the full five games. Team Secret looked a bit shaky in the mid game. Roshan after Roshan going to IG, but they just held their own. They weren't flustered. They waited till they got those really big late game items. And Zai, once his hex came up, those blink hex initiations, they found the pickoffs. They were the ones getting the jump. And IG almost playing two passive.